So this question is asked to determine the domain, horizontal asymptotes, vertical asymptotes, and then sketch the graph, f of x equals to 3x plus 2 over 2x minus 4. So uh, this simply on curve sketching. And for us to be able to uh, sketch the graph, then the first thing that the equation specified, we need to determine the domain of the function. And then number two, get the asymptotes of the function. And then uh, know the transition points or the critical, uh, critical points of the function. And then once we have those values, we can use first and second derivative to know the way the curve is uh, curving either downwards or upwards. And then we can finally then do the sketch of the given function. Now let's explain this one step by step. So our function is given by f of x equals to 3x plus 2 over 2x minus 4. Now, to get the domain, I remember uh, all, all values of x that make the function to be defined. And <laughs> this being a rational function, then the domain simply those values of x which do not give a denominator of zero because uh, when the denominator is zero then the function is not defined so this simply means 2x not equals to 4 so which means x not equals to 2 so therefore uh, domain is a set of all values all values x except x equals to 2 so we can just simply say domain of f is this set from minus infinity to 2 union 2 to positive infinity uh, be careful on how you write this notation remember this is a cup bracket to show that two is not part of the solution. So if this is the x-axis, then it means so this is a positive infinity, negative infinity, and then we have two here. So two is a, a hole at two. So there's this interval A and then this interval B. So next step, uh, let's get the derivative of this function. The first derivative of this function by quotient two, you should be able to get minus four over x minus two squared. And second derivative is given by h over x minus two cubed. Play this is really what you're doing. So this is u and then this is v. So u prime v minus v prime u over v squared. So u prime, the derivative of this is 3 into 2x minus 4 minus v prime is 2 into 3x plus 2 over, remember this can be written as 2 into x minus 2 and so we are squaring this so this would be 6x minus 12 minus 6x minus 4 over so square of 2 is 4 into x minus 2 squared and you see 6x minus 6x is 0 so this and this cancels out minus 12 minus 4 is minus 16. So minus 16 over 4 into x minus 2 squared is what gives minus 4 over x minus 2 
square. So that explains how we have this. Similarly, when you use our same, you can either use quotient tool or you can even use a chain rule. Uh, you will be able to get the second derivative as eight over x minus two power three. Now, so uh, remember definition of critical. Now, after getting the derivative, then you have to define the critical points. But critical points uh, requires us to equate the first derivative to zero and then solve. But you see, if we equate negative four x minus two squared equals to zero, then negative four equals to zero is um, an absurd equation. So we go to points which are not defined for that given uh, equation. But then we will only pick that value if uh, the value is within the domain of the function. So since uh, this one tells us that two should actually be the point that is undefined for this given equation, but it doesn't qualify to be a critical point because it is not in the domain of the function. So we say, although the first derivative is not defined, at x equals to two, That should be very clear. So remember, critical points are solutions for f prime of x equals to zero and values which are not defined uh, for that given function. But then you only call it a critical point if the point is within the domain of the function. So uh, now change of signs. So therefore, this for this particular function, we don't have a critical point. So we have said that now we have uh, this point two, and then so this negative infinity, this positive infinity. So if we pick any value of x, say at this point from minus infinity to two, say I pick a point like three. So if I put into the first derivative, I have f prime at three would be minus four over three minus two squared, which will give me minus four. So this is a negative sign. And if I pick A value in the interval two to infinity, then say I pick say three. Uh, this was this was three, so three is in this interval two to three. So let's say now negative three. So I'll have minus four over minus three minus two squared. So I'll get minus four over minus three minus two is minus five squared is 25. Still a negative value. We are sure that really the point two is not a critical point. Now, for the second derivative, which was eight over x minus two square uh, power three, if I pick say negative three, which is in the interval minus infinity to two, 
then I'll have h over minus three minus two square uh, cubed. So this will be negative eight over, so minus five squared. So my part to be some 25. So this is a negative value. So it tells us that second derivative is always negative for values of x less than two. And then if I pick uh, a value say three, uh, which is in the interval two to infinity, I'll have f double prime at three to be given by h over three minus two power three, which will be eight, and this is a positive value. So you see, yes, there's a change of sign at as you approach two. So this means f double prime of x is always positive for values of x greater than this point. Uh, this point, uh, this point x when it's greater than two. But this should not confuse you to be that two is a critical point since two itself is not in the domain of the function. So just uh, to be clear, say, although this point, or if, so, although there's a change of sign at x equals to two, Remember when we have a change of sign for the second derivative is usually what we call a point of inflection, but that's not the case because two is not in the domain. So therefore, there's no transition point in the domain of the function. So now, lastly, we find uh, the horizontal asymptotes and then do the graph. So uh, vertical asymptotes. Are obtained by simply. Solving the equation 2x minus 4 equals to 0, uh, which means x equals to 2. And then horizontal asymptotes So we get a limit as x approaches positive or negative infinity of the function we have. Now remember, because the degree of the denominator for x is one, then we divide each of the terms, both in the numerator and denominator by x. So this will be the same as 
limit as x approaches plus or minus infinity. So y equals two. So dividing this one by x, we get three plus two over x over two minus four over x. And should confirm that this will be given by three over two. So this information is enough to help us take the graph, uh, which will be given by So this is uh, an asymptote at x equals to two. And then at a point, three over two. Uh, so this is zero. And then we found out that the value of the function as x approaches infinity, The graph approaches the line three over two. So this is uh, what we have. So, and then as we move closer to the line x equals to two, so limit as x approaches two from the right, of this function 3x plus 2 over 2x minus 4, actually we get infinity. So it means that this is how the graph will uh, be looking like. So therefore, in this section, the graph will be in the form So I have this now to know what's going to happen in this. I remember there are four zones. So we have say zone A, zone B, zone C, and then zone, zone D because of these two asymptotes. Now, when X approaches two, but from left, let's see what's happening here of three X plus two over two x minus four. So this will be given by negative infinity. So for example, if we put so zero, see if we put zero, so values to the left of two, putting say zero here, will have minus two over four. So it's a negative value. Say we put uh, three over two, you'll be sure that I uh, will have a negative sign here. So the value will be going towards a negative infinity. So as you approach this line, x equals to two, then you are moving towards negative infinity. And then let's see the behavior of the function as you move closer to the line. So what, once, once we know that this, the value of the function as you move closer to this vertical asymptote is moving towards negative infinity. And then this, the other asymptote then you are sure that uh, this is how 
uh, this other arm of the graph will be looking like. So the key thing was to know how the function behaves as you move closer to this vertical asymptote. It's moving towards negative infinity. So then this being uh, another asymptote, then you know that this will be the arm of the graph. So therefore, this is the sketch for that particular given uh, function. Thank you.